Anasta is a strength-based warrior class hero from the Mola faction who specializes in dealing and amplifying damage against her enemies and healing her allies. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at her skills and abilities, her teams and uses, and whether or not it's worth investing in this hero. So let's get into it. Her ultimate ability is Spiral Cleave. For this one, she's going to break nearby enemy shields, deal damage to them and knock them down. And on top of that, if she's in confrontation with one of the enemies, it will extend that confrontation by four seconds. Next is her Shattered Shields ability. For this one, she's going to deal damage to all enemies before her and reduce the value of their shields. On top of that, if there are two or fewer targets that she's hitting with this ability, then the effects will be amplified. And then we have Confrontation. For this one, she's going to enter a confrontation with a nearby target, immobilizing them for seven seconds and terrifying enemies nearby them. While in a confrontation with an enemy, she will prioritize her attacks against that enemy and her attacks will deal extra damage based on the enemy's max HP. On top of that, she cannot be taunted away from attacking the target during the confrontation period. Next up is Mauler's Prowess. This is going to provide her with a stacking buff called Brawler's Protection. Now this buff is going to reduce the damage that she takes and also provide her with healing over time. On top of that, if she receives damage that exceeds 10% of her max health from the enemy that she is currently in a confrontation with, one stack will be removed and she will initiate a counterattack, dealing extra damage to all nearby enemies. Her signature item skill is Inextinguishable Might. For this one, at base and level 20, it's going to increase her tenacity and dissolve throughout confrontation periods. At level 10 and 30, if the number of enemies within her her attack range is two or fewer, her attacks will increase the damage that they take by 20% at level 10 and 35% at level 30. And finally, we have her furniture ability. At level three, when she deals damage to the enemy target that she's in a confrontation with, she will receive an extra stack of brawler's protection, but this can only occur once every five seconds. And at level 9, when she initiates a confrontation, all allies will be granted two stacks of Brawler's Protection. When her allies deal damage to the confrontation target, they will gain a stack of Brawler's Protection. However, this can only be activated once every 8 seconds, and Brawler's Protection will be removed from allies if they take damage from the confrontation target. However, they will not initiate a counterattack. So let's take a look at the key features that Anasta brings to battle. She brings high damage with max HP scaling abilities. She brings healing and damage mitigation for herself and her allies with her furniture. And she also brings damage amplification from her signature item. These key features make her fantastic for battling against bosses. She is also quite useful in certain campaign and tower stages, but where we're going to take a look at her today is going to be in boss battles, because that is where she really shines. The fact that she can deal that massive damage, amplify the damage that the boss is going to take, and help keep her allies alive means she can be a crucial part to your boss battles. So for this example, we're going to take a look at her in a battle against the Burning Brute. She's also really useful against enemies like Riz in the Guild Hunts, also Sauron, along with the other Twisted Realm bosses, except for the Demonic Entity as that is an AoE fight. So in this Burning Brute battle, we're going to be using Anasta, Warwick, Awakened Thane, Cecilia, and Rain. Warwick's main role in this team is to reduce the boss's defenses and allow your allies to deal more damage. Awakened Thane is our core damage dealer. He is here to deal massive single target damage to the Burning Brute. Something like Scarlet in other boss fights might excel in this position. However, due to the Burning Brute's passive of taking less damage from range, Thane is a great option for this one. Then we have Cecilia. Now Cecilia is here to fight in melee range behind the Burning Brute and she has the ability to reduce the Brute's attack, reducing the damage that it can deal to our allies, allowing us to last further into the battle. Then we have Rain. Rain is here to buff the damage that we're dealing to the Burning Brute with our abilities and ultimate skills. And then finally we have Anasta. She is here to deal massive amounts of damage, competing with the damage that Thane can deal. On top of that, she does provide the mitigation for our team to help them survive longer into the battle. She provides all the healing on the team, allowing the team to once again survive longer into the battle. And on top of that, she's going to amplify everyone's damage with her signature item. 
When we look at artifacts for Anasta, the Chaos Bringer is a fantastic option as it provides her with haste and leech life for the entire battle. However, if you don't have that, you can always go with something like Jura's Eye or Jura's Blade. So with all that out of the way, how far do we want to invest into Anasta? For her signature item, early days, you can just leave her at level 10. This unlocks all the effects that she gains. Level 20 and level 30 just give increases to those effects. So leaving her at level 10 and using your resources to enhance signature items of other heroes that maybe unlock key effects from theirs would be a better option. And then once you're really trying to min max your boss damage, you can come back and get her up to level 30. Next is her furniture. This one, ideally you will take it to level nine. This allows her to buff her allies with Brawler's protection and provide healing for them throughout the battles. As for her engravings, level 30 and level 60 are both more luxury engravings and not necessary for her to do her job, so you can leave her engravings at zero and focus on other heroes. So that is going to be it for Anasta, a fantastic hero for battling against bosses who brings high damage, healing for her allies, and damage amplification. Thanks for watching, hope you have an awesome day, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.